Hey everybody, this is Brad from Argali, and today I am going to show you how to connect the insert of our Rincon two-person tent uh, inside the tent. Now, there are two different ways you can connect the Rincon uh, insert with the tent. You can connect the insert prior to setting up the tent, or you can connect the insert after you already have the tent pitched. So, uh, let's say you uh, get caught in a rainstorm and you're just like, I need to get out of this thing as fast as possible. Uh, you can set up the tent, which is your, gonna be your fastest way to get out of the rainstorm. And then you can get inside there, get your gear in there, and then you can put the insert in there. Um, it's a little easier and quicker if you set them up, uh, connect the insert to the rain fly, and then pitch the tent, uh, but it can work either way. So I'm gonna show you both options right now. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to pitch the insert once the tent is already set up. Now, what you wanna do is there's a single door on the insert and a single door on the Rincon two-person tent. So really what you need to do is just line up the doors and get the corners lined up. Now we made it a little easier by having the webbing on one corner of the insert is orange along with one corner of the tent being orange. The rest of the corners are gray. So really all you need to do is line up the orange color webbing with the orange color webbing and that's how you know that you have the insert and the tent lined up properly. Now the way this connects, you have a piece of paracord that runs through a line lock adjuster with a sliding mini carabiner. So what this allows you to do is connect this little carabiner to the inside corner of a tent. There's a piece of, uh, there's a piece of of cord on the inside of each corner of the tent that I'm going to connect this little carabiner to and I'm going to leave this paracord loose on all the corners when I connect it and what I'm going to do later is I'm going to walk around to each corner and I'm going to snug up the insert so you have four corners to connect it's it's a very fast easy way to set up the insert all you got to do is connect these little carabiners to the cord on the inside it's gonna be a little cozy in here trying to show you how to do this in a two-person tent but uh, we're gonna make it work. So come on in here uh, and I'll show you how this works. So if you're, already, uh, if you're already in the tent, what I would do is you wanna connect one side of the tent. So connect the insert to one side, you're gonna prop up the pole and then you're gonna connect the insert on the other side and then you're gonna uh, take the top of the insert and connect it to the top, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So first thing is, I'm gonna take this carabiner right here, this little mini carabiner, and I'm gonna connect it to that piece of cord here in the back. One, and remember I'm keeping it loose here. I'm gonna connect this corner now, right over here. Okay, so now I've got half the, half the tent set up here. And I'm going to undo the door on the insert here. And remember, this is this is not the way I would do. I would if I'm going to set both the insert and the tent up. Uh, I much prefer to do them, connect them together, and then pitch the tent. So this is a way you can do it. Again, if you get caught in a rainstorm, or you pitch the tent and then decide you want to use the insert. So this is not not the uh, not my preferred way of doing it, but it works really well this way too. So I've got two corners connected. There is a piece of center fabric in your insert, which is where your pole should go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out this in the pole right here. I'm just gonna slide it over. And I'm gonna kinda push up and kinda put it right down there in the center again. So now my pole is in the center of the insert. I have the insert roughly in the, the center of this, roughly in the middle of the tent. I'm just kind of guessing here, and it doesn't matter if you get it right in the middle of the tent because we'll, we can adjust that later. So, you know, if I was in my tent because I got caught in a rainstorm and I had like my bow and my backpack and my gear in here, what I would do is I would have my gear on one side of the tent and I would put the connect, take the insert out, connect those two pieces. I would take all my gear after I get those two pieces set up and I get the center pole in the middle here and I would just put my gear on top of the insert over there so then I can connect this side really easily. So now I'm just gonna connect these other two corners. Okay. And again, I've got the corner 
the paracord is, is pretty loose. I'm gonna snug this one up just a little bit, about halfway, okay? But it's still really loose. Now I'm gonna connect the last corner in the back here. Get the tent stuff sack out of the way. Throw that out. Okay, so now I've got all the four corners connected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the center cone of the insert and I'm gonna put it on top here. Now what this really requires you to do, you gotta get inside the insert here and I'm gonna undo the pole, kind of hold it up with my head or with my hand or whatever works. And I'm gonna slide this, the pole, inside this. And then this top cone just goes right up in the top cone of the actual tent. So, kind of sounds complicated, but it isn't. I'm gonna try not to get grass all over my tent here. So as you can see, I'm just gonna, I've got my, my hand like this. I'm gonna go up here. I'm just gonna undo this real quick. I'm doing this just for you guys here, but it's not that hard. Take this pole, I'm gonna run it through this top cone right here, and I'm gonna put it through into this top cone. Now what you need to do is snug up the corners. Now this is the part where you can, um, again, if it's raining, you can pop out real quick and just do this snug up the corners and you can see how once you do that it really just pulls tight and around here Jason so what you do in the back you just reach underneath here so this paracord is right here right there it's really easy just to grab grab it and pull it through that line lock adjuster right there I'm gonna do one more corner and then I'm done. All right, let's go look and see how it's pitched. All right, so now you can come inside here and take a look. Now that insert is, I somehow guess accurately, it's really taut on the inside there. Come and take a look. So you can see now, this thing is taut on the inside and you've got both the insert and the tent connected together. So that's how, if you needed to make any adjustments though, like let's say you've got a bunch of slat, you could tell that your insert, like your center pole is holding your insert off to one side. All you gotta do is just lift this up, adjust this, the insert a little bit, and then just let your tent pole relax and then you're ready to go. So pretty much all there is to it. That's how you pitch the insert inside the rain fly once your tent is already set up. And next I'm gonna show you how to pitch the insert and the tent together, which is my preferred way of doing it. All right, now the second way and the preferred way to pitch our insert and tent together is to connect the insert to the tent and then pitch the tent as you normally would um, and then you're gonna snug up the line lock adjusters on the inserts. Let me just show you how to do that. Um, I have the insert laid out here. Um, so I've got the door facing forward. I have the tent just kind of roughly laid out and loosely laid out on top of the insert. Now remember, we've color coded the webbing on both the tent and the insert. So you can uh, just make matching up the corners a little easier. So we've got the doors overlapping each other here, but we have an orange color webbing here, and an orange color webbing here on the corner of the tent here. Um, all the other corners use gray webbing. So if you've got the orange to orange and the gray to gray, you know you're good to go. So the way you're gonna do this here is, remember we've got the insert right here has a piece of paracord with a line lock adjuster and a sliding carabiner. Now the way you're gonna do this is keep this piece of paracord. Um, you wanna snug it up a little bit, but keep it a little loose, so about like that. You're gonna take this little mini carabiner and you're gonna connect it to the inside piece of paracord, or excuse me, not paracord, cord, on the inside of the corner, just like that, okay? I'm gonna do that on every corner. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect this corner, and there are really, there's only four corners that you need to connect. And this is, it's true of both the ring con 
and of the Absaroka. Take this little carabiner. If I can fumble around with my fingers, like that. Okay, one more corner. There's no tying or knots involved in here. It's really simple. It's all you gotta do is connect the cord just like that. And all these corners are a little loose, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm basically just gonna ignore the insert now, and I'm gonna pitch the tent like I normally would. Now just to make this a little faster so you don't watch me fumble around here, I've already got my stakes out here, and I'm gonna use my line lock adjusters. Um, so I'm pitching the tent in elevated mode. I'm gonna connect paracord to each of these stakes on the tent itself, okay? Remember, I'm just using the tent, pitching the tent right now, okay? Basically, just don't worry about the insert as you're going around here. This makes it really simple and easy. I've got stakes already in the ground here, okay? And remember, when you're pitching your tent, you're, trying, you're pitching the four corners first so you get a rectangle. It makes it really simple and easy. Now what I'm gonna do, just like I would pitch the tent normally, you wanna try and get as even of a rectangle as you can on the four corners, and you don't want your tent to be super tight, but you want it to kind of, the corners to be a little snug. So I'm just gonna go around, I'm kinda of eyeballing it right now, trying to get a roughly a 90 degree angle. Now I'm gonna go inside and put the pole up in the middle here. So I'm gonna unzip the door of the tent, and you wanna unzip the door of both the tent and the insert. So you just throw it open. If I can find the zipper on my insert. Unzip the door. My shoes are really dirty, so I'm trying not to step inside my tent here. Uh, grab your pole. I'm gonna shorten it up just to make this easier. Put the pole first through the top cone on your insert. And then I'm gonna match up the top cone of my insert with the top cone of the tent. So I'm gonna go like that. And I'm gonna go like that. That's really all there is to it. And then you just prop it up right there. Eyeball your insert. Since I have this in elevated mode, I want it a little taut, so that's nice and taut. I can already tell. And zip up that insert. And now, I'm gonna keep the doors open on the tent right now. Um, now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snug up these corners here. You can see how the insert's kinda of loose, and it's really easy to tighten. All you do, just take this paracord, this line lock adjuster, pull that tight. I'm gonna pull this corner tight. And now you can see the front of that insert is really snug. Now I'm gonna come around to the back, and I'm just gonna reach underneath so if you pull this up, you can see I can easily grab this line lock adjuster, this piece of paracord. Snug that up. Snug this last corner up. And now I'm done pitching the insert. Now what I'm gonna do, zip up the tent door. And I'm gonna go pitch the rest of the guy out points on the tent. Okay, you can see this is it's really simple and easy to do with those four corner carabiners. Just makes the process really simple and easy. We've got one more stake here for the door. Pull that out, pitch it. Now you're ready to get inside. I'm gonna pull this off just so it's easy, to, so you can see what's going on, what it looks like on the inside. You've got door tie-offs for both your insert and for your tent here. Okay, we'll so come on inside and take a look now. So you can see, just by using those four line lock adjusters, this insert is nice and snug. All the corners are snug. The floor, the bathtub floor is snug, and you're ready to camp. So 
Those are two different ways that you can connect the insert to your Rincon two-person tent. <laughs>